Hello everyone, so for today's video I'll be showing you a model HVAC wiring and troubleshooting build that I did. This build would be very helpful for HVAC students who are learning about low and high voltage side of HVAC, how to troubleshoot and how the system works um, in a classroom setting. For this build I use a series of common HVAC components. As you can see, this is a waterproof project box, 6 by 3 inches. Mounted on this box, I have 5 LED um, indicator lamps. To the right, this box is labeled our fuse. For this, I have a 20 amp circuit breaker. Just below, I have another 4x2 inch box label or main disconnect mounted to this box is our 110 volt rated indicator lights and also our heavy duty roller toggle switch. Just below that, I utilize 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 position dual row terminal strip blocks. To the left, I have, our, I have my transformer, which is a step down transformer, steps down the incoming voltage from 120 volts to 24 volts AC. Just above that, I have my fan relay. This supplies my high voltage to my indoor blower. Just above that is my cooling contactor. This contactor supplies a high voltage to my condenser fan motor as well as my compressor. To the right of the cooling contactor is my heat relay. This supplies a high voltage to my stage 1 and stage 2 heat. To the right, I'm using a non programmable thermostat. And for today's testing, I'll be using a field piece SC260 to test uh, my voltage readings. I'll give you a brief review of how this system is wired. So I have 120 volts coming into my fuse or my circuit breaker. It connects to my main disconnect. Now this is where I disconnect or connect power to my terminal strips. So if, if I should go across the hot and neutral, I'm reading zero volts. When I hit the toggle switch, the system is now energized. And if you check, I have 120 volts. Now when, I, when that 120 volts comes in, one leg from my terminal switch terminal block and as you can see they're all jumpered feeds to my transformer my transformer then steps on that 120 volts to a low voltage 24 volts AC so if I should measure here which is my yellow coming from my transformer and my blue coming from my transformer I have 26 volts AC now this low voltage AC then feeds to my thermostat which then distributes the low voltage power to all my contactors and relays in my system so as you can see my 24 volts comes into this terminal block my red is my 24 volts my blue is my neutral and if I should measure my terminal block leading to my thermostat I'm measuring my 26 volts now currently, as you can see, the compressor is on, the condenser fan is on, and also the indoor blower is on. So with that being said, I should have 24 volts on my indoor fan motor um, hot. I should also have 24 volts on my cooling, which is my yellow wire, so I can place one multimeter lead on the neutral 
I should have 24 volts here. Measuring 26. I'm measuring 26. Now the heat is off, so if I should measure across the heat terminal of my thermostat, I should have zero volts. As you can see, I have 0 0.004 volts. So that is not energized. Now if I should turn the heat on, it has an on delay, so currently if I measure it, I have 24 volt, 25 volts, now it's energized. Now in a normal case, we don't want to simulate how our um, fan, our indoor blower motor works. So on the thermostat, we'll turn the fan on. As you can see, we now have our indoor blower light on. So in your normal residential or commercial unit, you could, if you go next to your air handler, you could hear your blower motor running. Um, so this is how this actually operates. When I turn on the thermostat, it sends a low voltage to the, the coil of the relay. So on this particular, um, fan relay or fan contactor across the green and blue you should have 20 between 24 to 27 volts AC now let's check as you can see we are reading 26 by 9 volts on our multimeter now let us check our incoming power to our fan relay one lead goes to the incoming hot, one goes to neutral. So we are getting 120 volts. Let's check the output, which was our normally open, but since we have power going to the coil, this is now closed. So we have 120 volts AC at the output of our contactor, thus energizing our indoor blower. Now, if we were to call for cooling, so I would turn this to cool. As you just heard, our contactor pulled in. Now, you see our condenser fan LED is lit. Our, com our compressor LED is also lit. How this works, we have our common from our um, low voltage terminal block feeds to one side of our contactor coil and yellow, the yellow wire is for cooling that feeds to the other side of our country. To measure the coil voltage, we should have 26 volts, that is correct. Now let's measure the input to our contactor. So we place one of our terminal blocks on neutral. You see we have 120 volts going to our contactor. And the output, we have 120 volts. So we know our contactor is pulled in. We are transferring power from the, the input to the output of the contactor, thus energizing our condenser fan and compressor motor. This is the similar setup to your residential or commercial units. Um, for the last test, let's test how our heat relay works. Now, let's say we're calling. This is an auto. We're calling for heat. Now, as you can see, the moment we call for heat, our compressor and our condenser fan shuts off. Now, this, this heat really has an on, on delay timer, so as you see, it took a few seconds um, to turn on. But as you can see, we have our stage 2 and stage 1 heat LEDs now lit. Now let's check the, the control or the coil side of our heat relay. So the white wire from our thermostat sends 24 volts AC to one side of the coil and our blue which, are, which is our um, low voltage common. So as you can see we are measuring 26.3 volts to our coil. Now for the input to our heat relay, just like we did for the previous uh, relays and contactor, the incoming to the neutral we have 120 coming in we have 120 going out we have 120 coming in 
we have 120 coming out so that is pretty much the basic operation and troubleshooting guide um, for your HVAC um, wiring and control system now going forward I might create different scenarios for instance your blower is not working what would be the troubleshooting steps in the finding out if it's your blower is bad or your um, your indoor fan motor contactor is effective is it your thermostat is it that you're missing low voltage power is it that you're listening list, you're missing high voltage power so going forward i'll do a series on troubleshooting different failures that might occur and how to effectively and efficiently troubleshoot these issues let's switch let's switch back to cooling so from heat to the off the cooling as you see when we're in the cooling mode and our fan selector switches in auto your compressor is running your condenser fan is running and also your indoor blower motor is running and your stage one and stage two heat they're both off now that we have confirmed that we have high voltage coming into our release and our contactors let me walk you through how these are actually switched on. So for instance, if I want to call for, for, for my indoor fan motor to be switched on. All right, so let me show you a before and after. So currently, across the neutral of the low voltage and the hot that goes to our indoor fan motor um, relay, it's zero volts. Get test here to also confirm zero volts now if I should turn my thermostat fan on this thermostat will then send 24 volts on the green which is connected to here and then we'll have 24 volts energizing the coil of our relay now that will switch our input hot voltage to the output which feeds our indoor indoor blower so let me walk you through it. So currently, we have zero volts. So currently, we have zero volts. Turn my thermostat fan on. We now have 26 volts. If I should check here, we have 26 volts. Now if I should check the output of my relay, so one on the hot side, the neutral of the high voltage to here, I have 120, hence my indoor blower is on. If I should check for heat, so let me do a before and after. So currently neutral, the hot for the heat relay zero volts switch the heat my thermostat then distributes 25 volts to my white which feeds the coil of my heat relay so now across this I should also have 26 volts as you can see from my field piece I'm measuring 26 volts now my output for my heat relay, we should see 120 volts, that's correct, 120 volts. So you can see my stage one and stage two heat, they're both on. Turn it off. Now this relay it has an off delay. So after a few seconds, you will see my stage one and stage two heat um, de-energized. Okay, now they're both off let me show you how it will be if we put our system on cool there's a call for cool so currently between our neutral and our cooling coil cooling call we have zero volts now if we call for cool currently we have 26 volts so our thermostat has sent 26 volts uh, for cooling contactor. 
So if we should measure across the coil for a contactor, you can see we have 26 volts. Now let's check the output. So once more, neutral and our hot we have 119 volts going to our compressor going to our condenser fan and whenever we call for cooling as you can see our indoor blower is also on so we should have 26 volts here as well which we have so that is pretty much how the system supplies voltage to different components in your HVAC unit based on what your thermostat is calling for. So, thank you again. I hope you learned a whole lot from my demonstration. Um, if you have any questions in regards to what I just um, explained, just leave Leave it in the comments and I'll respond to you as quickly as I can.